now, today, God is speaking to your spirit and he's saying, right now, this is the time, this is your destiny, now go to it, go forth, walk in the spirit of God, I will guide your footsteps, says the Lord, and you will move into what I have called you to do all this time. God bless you. Apostle Evans here. I am glad to be with you today. Man, I tell you, God has given us a great message today to give you and to share with you the greatness of our Lord and what God is doing right now in your heart in these last days. I tell you, God has given me a message today, just a short message of it's your destiny, your destiny, your destiny, the destiny of what God has for us all to reach that mark of what God has called us to do. Amen. You know, in the book, in the Bible, uh, the, the 12 disciples, God spoke to those 12 disciples and they did not know their destiny, but as God proclaimed the gospel into their life and gave them uh, words and visions and dreams. They accomplished, the 12 disciples accomplished what God had for them. And today God is wanting us to accomplish what God has for us. Amen. The days that we're living in, body of Christ, these times that we're living in is perilous. And I'm telling you right now that there's many things going on. And I'm telling you right now that we have to be about God's business. Or I'm telling you the world will consume you and make you to what they want you to be. But right now, God is wanting us to be where he wants us to be. Amen. And when we look at the word of God, the God, all the book of the Lord always lets us know where to go and how to put us in a place to where God wants us to be all this time. Amen. So we thank God today for you joining into the broadcast. And we just thank the Lord because right now this is his time. And we thank God for being in his presence once again. Amen. So we're going to go into a couple of scriptures that God has given me to give to you today. And we are reading out of the book of Psalms, chapter 44 and verse 18. Psalms 44 and 18. And the verse says, Our heart is not turned back, neither have our steps declined from thy way. Our heart is not turned back, neither have our steps declined from thy way. God is guiding our footsteps. Our hearts are here. But right now, body of Christ, I'm telling you right now, we have to be uh, guided by our footsteps from God. We have to be guided from him because when we're guided from everything else, that will always fail us. When man tries to lead us into what God has us to go into, it fails. When we try to lead ourselves into what we think that we're leading ourselves into greatness, it always fails. There's always something that comes up when we try to lead ourselves, and when we try to let man lead us, it always fails. And the Bible says, man will always fail you. They will always fail you. But our God will not fail you. Glory to God. Right now, I thank the Lord for what he is doing inside of you because it's, it's miraculous. It's greatness. It's 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 everything that God wants for you right now today. And I'm telling you right on this broadcast, as we are reading out of the Holy Bible, amen, God has given me a message to give to you that it is time for your destiny to reach its peak fulfillment. Amen. Glory to God. Right now, today, God is wanting you to reach your peak fulfillment and he's wanting you to reach your destiny. Hallelujah. Right now, if we don't listen to God, if we don't listen to the Holy Spirit and we don't listen to what God is trying to tell us to do, but I take that back. He's not trying to tell us anything. He has already told us. And what God is, has already told us, we need to get it inside of us, amen, and we need to grasp a hold of that word, amen, and we need to work upon and do upon what God has put in our spirit. Amen. Glory to God. And it's just a great time to, to move forward, body of Christ. 
is a good time to move forward and to reach that mark of what God has placed in our hearts and in our spirits to make it to. Amen. You know, uh, 19 years ago, amen, praise God, when I first started out in ministry, God was dealing with me. He was, he was talking to me. Uh, he was letting me know through his servants of the Lord that, that the, the destiny that he had for me, amen, the destiny that he had for me was greatness. It was prosperity. It was everything that God wants for us. It was all wrapped up into that, into that bottle or that round uh, 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 blessing that God has for us. Amen. But it's up to us to reach that potential and to reach that greater height. Amen. And that deeper depth. Amen. To get to where God wants us to be. Glory to God. Amen. This is what God is wanting us to do today. This is what God is wanting us to do today. Glory to God. Let's read some more scripture today. Amen. We're going to read out of the book of Judges, chapter 18. Amen. Chapter 18 and 5. The book of Judges, chapter 18 and verse 5. And the Bible says, And they said unto him, Ask counsel, we pray thee of God that we may know whether our way which we will go shall be prosperous. And the priest said unto them, Go in peace, before the Lord is your way, wherein ye go. Glory to God. God spoke through the priest and he says, This is your way, now go. Glory to God. God is speaking to you right now. He is speaking to your spirit, man. He is speaking to your, your spirit right now. And he's saying, go, go and do what I have called you to do. Go out and make disciples of men. Go out and fish and make disciples of men. Go out and do what I have called you to do before it's too late. Amen. You see, God is omnipresent and every situation that we may think or ask amen and he is always there on time he is always there on time if we think that he is not there on time you are wrong because he is there every time on time he always gets the glory out of what we do in our life that is of him glory to god Thank you, Jesus, because right now, today, God is speaking to your spirit and he's saying right now, this is the time. This is your destiny. Now go to it. Go forth. Walk in the spirit of God. I will guide your footsteps, says the Lord, and you will move into what I have called you to do all this time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's your time and it is your destiny to reach where God wants you to go. Glory to God. God is speaking to us, body of Christ, and if we don't listen, we are going to miss out on what the greatness of what God wanted in our lives for each and every one of us. And right now today, I just I plead with you to to Get the word of God. Get the word of God inside of you. Let it change you. Let it make you a new person in God. Let it strengthen you. Let it give you the anointing that you need to make it through. Amen. The power in, of the Holy Ghost and the, of God in the word. Let it strengthen you. Let it change you. Let it do what it needs to do in your life. Hallelujah. Now is not the time to try to get things from this world to fulfill your deep desire of what you need. But it is time for you to fill up on this word and get God in you, into your spirit, so he can guide you down that road to where you need to be in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. This is what God wants for us all. He wants us all to reach that mark of where he has called us 
to be. It's not about what you can gain on this earth, but it's about what you can get from God in the Spirit. Praise God and His name today forevermore. Amen. If you haven't seen our sermons, go to hutkm.org. I tell you right now, it will truly bless you. The messages of, of the sermons that God has dropped in my spirit to give to you and Pastor Tamara, the messages that he has given to her, it will truly bless your heart. Amen. It will truly bless your heart. And go and become a partner with us to help keep this word of God spreading across the world, reaching the dying people and the dying nation. Amen. Because it's, a, it's the word of God that will change a person and make them a new creature and person in God. Amen. If you need prayer, we would love to pray for you. Call us at 1-800-524-8211 and one of our pastors will pray with you. Glory to God. They will agree and they will pray with you and they will believe God will move in your behalf. If you would like to write us, you can send, uh, your, you can write us. You can send your, your writings to us here at HSTVN at 7626 Paragon Road. Centerville, Ohio, 45459. And we will get your message and we will pray over it, believe and thank God for the miracle that he will do in your life. If you would like to become a member or a partner, go to our website at hutkm.org and go to the member tab. Amen. Go to the member tab and join. It's free. It doesn't cost a dime. We love our members here at HSTVN and hearken unto the King Ministries. Glory to God. Without you, I'm telling you, without you, without you, it would not be possible. And the generous donations that you give us on a weekly basis makes this happen. It makes this happen. Glory to God. If you haven't seen our worldwide television network, hstvn.org, hstvn.org. Go there. You will be truly blessed by the many ministries that we have on board there. Uh, their messages will bless you and just put you in, into a different place and you will reach greater heights and deeper depths. And I'm telling you, we have weekly new sermons up there every week. We also have new sermons every week on at, uh, the Hearken Unto the King website. Amen. God has truly blessed us to move forth and get this work done. Amen. Until the next time, I will see you then. I will see you there on our website and become a member. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, YouTube channel. And God will truly bless you. I'm telling you, you will get notified of every new sermon that we do. And God will truly bless you. But I'm telling you right now, it is your time and it is your destiny.